Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. We are Matt and Jennifer Moses and we are a husband and wife team who flip furniture. This piece was brought to us by our client and she said that this has been in a barn but she wants it to be turned into a beautiful white dresser with gold knobs and we knew we had our work cut out for us because this is mahogany and mahogany likes to bleed through and doesn't like to be painted. That is mahogany. Any other Hunger Game fans who always see a mahogany anything and always want to use that line in the Hunger Games? Or is it just me? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, the first thing we're going to be doing is removing the old hardware and giving this a good cleaning. I don't want to know what I was cleaning up, but I knew that I needed to put on some gloves. Next, we use um, a mixture of 50-50 mix of denatured alcohol and water, and we spray that on, and we use our surf prep sander with a maroon woven pad to give it a good cleaning. And if you will notice, I detached the hose because you don't want to do anything with wet that might get into the hose. So I detach that, and I use it as a good cleaning pad, but you can also use a green scotch Bright pad to do this too. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be filling these holes with Bondo. Bondo is a great product that not only fills these holes like this, but it also fills scratches. And we can also use it to build up like the legs on here that were missing chunks of the wood. You can use it to kind of build up an edge of a missing piece of wood that you will see here in just a minute. Matt is also using this right now on the, some deep scratches on the tops of this dresser. And speaking of, if you see this white ash-like residue on the top, that is what happens when the denatured alcohol and water dries. It kind of leaves this residue that we will sand off when we sand off the Bondo. But this is what I was talking about, how this has some chipped places in the wood. And so Matt is just applying Bondo to build up those areas so that when we sand it and paint it, you'll never know that there was a huge crack or a huge missing piece chunk out of the wood. But, you know, you kind of have to like spread it on like a cake, but hopefully your cakes look better than this. Anyways, now we are going back with our 3x4 electric ray, this time with a screen pad that is going to break through some of this Bondo, and now we have attached the hose back to it. We give it a good cleaning to wipe all that off. This is just like a good scrub, and then we'll use our gray rad pad to kind of get into those creases that we can't get into, wipe it down, and we're going to be putting a tape drape on. This is where I come in to do the tape drape because I'm a little bit more patient with the tape drapes, and Matt and the tape drapes tend to get into arguments. It's got that like um, serrated edge like in the cling wrap that's always just makes everyone pretty mad. Anyway, now we are going to our surf prep random orbital sander and we are going to tackle the top of this dresser. And now we are going to be marking the new spaces for our single knob. So if you remember, we had the two holes for the pool, but our client only wanted a single knob ring pull that she saw on one of our other dressers. So we had to fill those holes and now we're going to have to make a single hole right in the middle, which is what Matt is doing right now. While we try not to go through the old finish when we're doing the sanding to get the Bondo off or anything else, sometimes we do go through and now you have these spots where you can see that we sanded through. We're going to put a good coat of shellac on there to hopefully prevent some bleed through. Now, I'm predicting we're gonna have a little bit a little bit of bleed through, but we'll see. The sprayer that we use is the Apollo Precision 5 sprayer, and now we are going to be spraying the front of the dresser. We don't tape off the fronts of our dresser, we just tape off the drawers because the overspray is not bad on this, but we just like to be extra precautious and do it onto the drawers, which, oh my gosh, can we talk about these drawers? Holy mahogany bleed through. And oh my goodness, it just keeps coming. Like the sides are bad, the top is bad, like there is bleed through 
everywhere. So what do we do when we have this much blade through? Well, we use a product called Cover Stain, and it looks like this. It is an old base primer, and we just use this to spot spray the troubled areas. We usually wait 20 to 30 minutes before we sand it smooth, but in this case, it was at the end of the day, so we waited until the next day, and we always sand before we put on our first coat of paint which uh, we're using this beautiful white classic paint that we're putting on is Malaysi 2k it has a built-in hardener in it and it's going on with no difficulties now and now we are in the home stretch we are putting on these gorgeous gold ring pulls This is when I come home to help Matt move the piece onto the staging wall and get it ready for staging and taking photos. I did not realize that we were recording, and so if you ever want to see what nurses look like after a long shift, this is it. Luckily, whenever I'm in a pinch, my seven-year-old daughter is always willing to come and give advice on how to stage and getting dangerously close to the brand new painted dresser with a dum-dum in her mouth. But here you have it. Now we are done. We have a nice clean dresser that is out of the barn and into a nursery ready to get a lot more use out of life. We love how it turned out. It's much big improvement from what we started out with. We are Matt and Jennifer Moses. We flip furniture and follow along for more tips and tricks.